We're here at day two of Consensus 2023. We're talking with Claude from Axe Labs. How are you doing, Claude? All good. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Loving this event. Um, I guess before we go into the line of questioning, could you just say, I know I gave your name and what you're working on, but could you just say who you are and what you do in the ecosystem? Sure. So yeah, I'm Claude. I'm a senior software engineer at Axe Labs. Um, Axe Labs has been a long-term member of the NEO ecosystem. So we've been uh, with Merck for NEO since four years now, with more than four years. We focus on developer tooling. Uh, we did a compiler, we did an SDK for NEO, and um, and we did the Grand Shares DAO. And now we did the, the code for the for the rings that we used here at the booth. Yeah, that's awesome. Can't wait to talk about the rings. Um, but one thing I want to hear a little bit about is uh, we have like DeFi projects at the booth, and we have Ghost Market, and we have like DApps, but you guys are a developer community. Exactly. So, what are the types of conversations you're having um, at your booth that might be a little bit different from someone who's like learning about a DApp? Yeah. So, yeah, since we're like more like a service company, we don't we don't produce a product for Neo that is uh, like yeah like Ghost Market is. Um, I'm more interested in in talking to people about. What they what they do actually what their product is so uh, I really for me it was was very nice to talk to so many people because we're I don't know if you can see this on camera probably not but the booth of Axe Labs is right in the in the corner where the the queue for the rings uh, is and so I have a lot of opportunities to ask people about what they're doing and uh, I've, I've uh, realized that most people actually are doing products. Mm -hmm. So uh, for for us it's interesting we can we can even like try to. Uh, present us as a consulting firm and see if people would be interested in having somebody who specializes in blockchain to do some uh, to like do a POC for them and then of course lure them into NEO because <laughs> we always I'm always talking about grant shares to see if people want to integrate their products with NEO because many people um, or I don't, I'll let you ask this question no about, go for it oh, okay well actually no I'm um, so like building on that um, we're surrounded by EVM projects, yeah. and Neo is like famously not an EVM. So, what are some of the insights you're getting from folks who are maybe interested in something that's not EVM? Are they? What's the line of questioning that they're asking, or are you even noticing something like that? No, that's actually a good question. So, I haven't noticed so much that people are, are looking for something that is EVM compatible, right? They, they didn't say. Well, nice, nice to know Neo, but uh, we can't work with Neo because it's not EVM compatible. Um, well, you said there's a lot of Ethereum around here, but there's also lots of other layer ones. So I think they all have that. It's not, it's not um, that every, everybody wants to build on Ethereum. Uh, so I think like Neo has the same opportunities as all the other layer ones here to be to be to become really big and and, uh, and make a difference besides Ethereum. Even though everybody thinks like Ethereum is the only one people want to use, right? So they have never got the question. Um, we would like to build on Neo, but it's a problem because it's not EVM compatible. Or so uh, I think people are really open to to build on on Neo. Cool. That's that's really great, fascinating insight. Um, so do you think you're benefiting from being? Located so close to the queue, or do you think it's uh, the ring activation that's driving a lot of folks to come talk to you guys? That for sure, yeah. I mean, well, so the people are stuck in the queue, and uh, <laughs> they have to talk to me when they're when they're standing right next to the booth. So uh, we're profiting profiting of the of the activation, of course. Some people are coming because they want to know what Axlabs is mm -hmm. by, by itself, but uh, yeah, I mean, most are here because of the queue. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so, what is your insights into the ring activation? Um, what are you hearing from people, or what did you personally think about uh, the thing that we have going on here? So, for me, as a, as one of the developers who did the software of the ring, um, I'm so, just super happy that things work, and I can finally see something that I worked on in action. So that's that's one point for me. It's uh, yeah, it's just like it's heaven for the engineer here. Um, but uh, from, from the from like the people's standpoint that uh, that don't know, some people just go into the queue and they don't even know what they're gonna get. Some people ask me how much is the ring, <laughs> and they don't even know that's for free. And uh, and then when I start talking to them, what the ring is for, what it's doing, uh, you know, connecting the physical world and the digital world, they uh, you can see that they start thinking um, what you could do with this, you know. They, yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, it's really nice to to see that something that is really novel apparently to people. There were some people that said, oh yeah, I also built this and this with a smart card. I did like a ring or uh, there's, do you know, this kind of solution that was built 20 years ago. 
so there's of course other stuff going on yeah. with uh, with this technology, but for many for many it's uh, it's totally novel what we're doing here. I've been telling people that the rings don't cost, or the, the cost of the rings is your email address. Sorry, what? I've been telling people that the rings cost, oh, uh, yeah, the cost the, of them is your email, email address. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what are your general insights into like the perspective that people have of the Neo booth? Are people um, talking about the Neo blockchain, or are they talking more about like the ring activation? <laughs> yeah, honestly, they're talking more about the rings. Um, but I'm, I'm also surprised how many people know Neo for a long time already. Yeah. Because I mean, Neo has been really been, been around really long since two, 2014, and uh, there's lots of people like OGs who have been with Neo for that for that time. So I'm surprised. But then there's of course like people who don't even know Neo at all, and uh, it's it's a great opportunity to to give them a sense what Neo is and what they could do with it. For sure. So yeah, there's. Uh, there's a mix of all kinds of people here. Um, so, just in general, uh, what's it like to like finally be like representing Neo at like a conference that you're attending? Well, it's great. Uh, now I'm really happy that I can be like here at the forefront, uh, representing Neo, oh, uh, representing X Labs, of course, as well. But um, uh, now it feels great to be part of, of the ecosystem and be be exposed to all the people here. Uh, yeah, because otherwise I'm like I'm the guy, I'm the engineer who sits at home, does everything in quiet. So it's really cool to be, be talking all day, really be talking all day, like 10 hours per day here with people. But uh, it feels good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the first time we've met in person, so it's oh, really yeah. cool to go to these events and like get to see the faces that we've seen on the screen sure. uh, in, in the meet space. Um, one last question. If you could take away one word, if you could provide one word for your takeaways of the Neo booth, what would you say about the vibe here? Curiosity. That's it. Nice. Well, Claude, thank you so much for your time. You're, you've been standing all day. You're hungry. You need to eat. You've been talking all day. So thanks for sharing a few minutes with us and Love. telling us about your insights into what's going on here. Thanks for having me. Cheers.